what's happening everybody jay shock blast and here i am having lots of fun with nightcrawler my dog going nuts in the background i can't get him to shut up but i figured i'd make another nightcrawler video uh because i am cruising right along i just want to show you guys um you know this is kind of a the way i'm going uh blink strike is insane teddy like seriously go lay down Oh man, he's just going crazy back there. I don't know what's going on. He's always one of making videos. He wants to just make noise, but you know, we're going to make do with it. Uh, Blink Strike right here. Uh, that's my go to power. I use it constantly. And I have moved uh, Swashbuckler Slash into my main slot. That's the one I do the most. And this is just my teleport power. I, uh, I teleport constantly back and forth. Um, I can show you, what do we got, what do we got, character, so here's uh, where I'm looking, I'm at level 18, and uh, I've got some pretty good gear because I've got lots of awesome buffs going on, um, you know, lots of purples, so doing pretty well, and I uh, got some artifacts going, um, up to 174 uh, cosmic shards or whatever. So I finally got to uh, move forward into an area that I don't feel like I have a whole lot of um, you know, gameplay from. So I feel better about it. Um, these guys really can't, can't do much to me because I just have so many buffs right now that I'm just so leveling so fast. And, you know, there we go. Another Eternity Splitter. Um, so I'm just leveling so fast that like I'm way above where I'm supposed to be at this point in the game, I guess So uh, As is always the case whenever there's um, You know a new character that comes out there are tons of people running around as Nightcrawler um, Kurt Wagner, I believe is his name or Wagner if you want to use the German which I do not speak, and probably shouldn't have even tried to uh, attempt to uh, <laughs> do a German accent. Um, I have to say, I'm enjoying this character more than I thought I would. He does not really fit my playstyle. Like, this isn't the type of character I would normally play as. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying him uh, quite a bit. And I don't know if it's because I am overpowered, because, you know, quite frankly, uh, very few things hurt me. Um, I'm running into lots of dupes with all these buffs. Yeah, so I'm just going to pick the crap out of all this stuff. Ask questions later. But, I mean, even the golds really can't do much against me. And I'm leveling up at just such an incredible rate. You know, it just feels like... You know, the sooner I, you know, get to one level, I'm already at another. So, um, I still feel like, you know, in my first video that I made about Nightcrawler, I said that I was a little worried that he was going to be a little underpowered. And maybe at some point I'm going to get there uh, where I do feel like that is the case. Uh, but as of, you know, yet, that's not the case. Um, because this, uh, you know, not Saber Swipe, uh, Blink Strike is it, so devastating. It has him basically, you know, bamf in between everybody and just hit all the active targets. And I just, it's such a great power. And it really makes you feel like just, that's the way Nightcrawler is supposed to feel. I really, really think, and I've said this on the forums, um, and even though Blink Strike does freeze a little bit here and there, like right there I got stuck, um, I said this on the forums, you know, and I saw a lot of people talking about it, you know, this is definitely a character that Gazillion kind of hit out of the park, and really I feel like they made him, you know, the way he's supposed to be. So, I am definitely enjoying him, and I wanted to share that with everybody. This is definitely a character you want to spend some money on. Uh, he's a lot of fun. I, The only thing I really can't comment on because I have been, like I said, so overpowered is I don't know what's going to happen when... Um, yes. 
I don't know what's going to happen when I'm not overpowered. You know, like, I don't know how this guy... I feel like he's going to be, like, a sneak character. You, you, like, in order to operate with him, you kind of have to sneak into everything. Um, but, you know, hey, that that is definitely the way, you know, I feel like Nightcrawler should feel as well. Again, just not totally 100% my playstyle. I'm not really a melee player. I like playing a little bit ranged. Um, I have definitely been using Deadpool recently as a little bit of a melee build. Um, I'm doing incorporating more melee, I guess you could say. So, you know, I'm getting used to it. And in that regard, I feel like that's why I'm a little bit better prepared to use Nightcrawler. Um, and I really like the fact that he can just kind of, you know, bounce around from place to place. I, I can't rave enough about Blink Strike, and it seems like a lot of people are kind of feeling that way. Um, I also feel like he's like the perfect lazy man character uh, because I'll get to areas where you have to like walk around stuff and I absolutely, you know, bamf my way over uh, just because, you know, I'm just too lazy to walk around, I guess. So as you can see, I'm already about to level up and I had just leveled up right before I started making this video. So it's happening really fast. I have lots of double XP going on, and we're going to go up here and fight the Kingpin. Um, so that should be interesting. The Kingpin fight is not really a hard fight per se, uh, but it can be, uh, especially when uh, Bullseye gets there. Bullseye so far has been the only boss battle I've been uh, hurt by. Um, all the other boss battles that I've done have been pretty fast. I'm at a point where I'm not even really picking up green anymore. You know, the only thing I'm picking up is, is um, blue and purple. If I do pick up green, it's 100% by accident. Uh, finally, I get to level up the blink strike, so I can't le level it up anymore. What do I want to do? Um, there are some passive abilities that you can use. Um, what do I want to do? Not enough of a... Alright, we'll do that. Perfect. So, uh, Blink Strike, like I said, I can't rave enough about I want to use it as much as possible, uh, even when I'm fighting just kind of one character. I am absolutely blink striking them to death. So right now I'm frozen. There we go. You know that's the only downside is it is still a little buggy. Um, and that could be frustrating a little bit if you get really stuck. Yeah, like right now I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, these guys have no chance. They're barely even hurting me. And really, I just blink strike every time. Now here's here's an idea of how the bamf is awesome, because I can like just literally bamf through walls with uh, no. Frozen again. Yeah, like I said, the blink strike is amazing. It's a great, you know, power. Uh, it's just there is a little bit of a bug where you get frozen. Uh, so that can be frustrating from time to time. But uh, not, not the end of the world. Yeah, see, I love this. I can just kind of go through everything. It really makes it just really fast to, to go across the map and stuff like that, so, um, you don't scare me. and that's what I'm all about, see, I'm frozen right now, so, you know, I'm sure Gazillion's gonna go ahead and, uh, patch that at some point, fix it, you know, maybe even fix it really quick, but it can be something you need to keep an eye on, you know, because obviously, if you get stuck, you don't want to die, and, uh, 
My biggest fear is that in a minute I'm going to get stuck while I'm recording. That would suck. I have not died since I play, um, since I got stuck for the very first time against the Green Goblin. So the last thing I want to do is get stuck while I'm recording a video. Um, yeah, so Nightcrawler is actually going to be getting his own comic book re soon. I don't think it's out quite yet, but... Uh, Nightcrawler number one, I believe, is starting in April. So I'm interested to see where they go with that. Um, you know, Nightcrawler was a big part of the whole Age of Apocalypse series. Uh, I don't know... He's not a character, like I said, I follow. I said that in the last video. I don't really follow him as closely as others. But I know he just kind of came back, so... Um, and he was part of the whole Age of Apocalypse storyline. Maybe some of you guys that are big Nightcrawler fans can comment on him further. Um, I'd like to know like exactly how you know, he kind of got his way back into here. I doubt it's as part of the whole all-new X-Men angle where uh, they all got pulled back from uh, you know earlier in life and everything. Um, I, I have a feeling... So... There was a point where I know Wolverine in the Age of Apocalypse line uh, found a Nightcrawler. And I think it was kind of an evil Nightcrawler. I mean, he wasn't really the nicest of guys. He's kind of like the opposite of how uh, Nightcrawler was in, you know, the normal Nightcrawler we're used to. Who is, you know, highly spiritual, highly religious, uh, stuff like that. Uh, he's kind of like the complete opposite, which, you know, guess is the purpose of an alternate reality um yeah i'm stuck so from what i understand you have to like bamf your way out of it i'm pretty sure that i'm this is the last level i'm about to go up to uh, i'm gonna fight the yeah kingpin's office so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna fight kingpin he's gonna call in electra and he's gonna call in bullseye the only thing that worries me about this fight is number one kingpin's charge power uh, where he'll charge after me. And number two um, is going to be um, Bullseye's, you know, dart throw. So let's see what I can do. Your presence here is a grave mistake. I'm sure. No, get out of the way, get out of the way. Yeah, see, there you go. I gotta teleport out of the way. Uh, take cover. Alright, so that worked out. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Alright. So I might get out of this yet. Boom. All right. So there you have it. I got in a little bit of trouble. He is a little bit weak. Um, there's no two ways around it. He's just a little bit weak. And even though I'm kind of overpowered, <laughs> it's funny how they're all toppled on top of each other. Um, even though I'm a little overpowered, I'm going to zoom in on it. There we go. Look at the lecture. It's just... <laughs> I can make some jokes, but I'm not going to. Um, anyway, um, even though I'm a little overpowered, they hit me hard. Um, and I just bamped my way across the map. So glad I had some spirit left. Uh, that was definitely interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Tablet of Life and Time. And now I'm going to GTFO. I'm going to skip all the, the short movies um, if you want to watch them play the game. Let's make this quick. She has I am uh, fairly certain that uh, Nightcrawler is worth every penny. And if you have not bought him, I highly encourage that you do. Uh, he is only $9.00. And I, I'm enjoying him. If you are an X-Men fan, uh, you definitely want to get him. 
Havoc, uh, I believe, is going to be a playable character at some point here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Professor X's school. Um, I am cruising right along with him. Uh, one thing that I did notice, and I didn't notice it before, is that I do have his other uh, character skin. Kurt, you are um, charming devil. So there I am. And... Yes. And there I am as the other Nightcrawler. So that is kind of the classic Nightcrawler. I guess I'll run around with him uh, for a little bit. Even though I really actually prefer that costume. Um, that costume's awesome. I really... I kind of like it uh, a little, a lot more. Fairly safe to say I like it a lot more. So, uh, but I'll roll around with this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check on what I got here. Uh, definitely going to keep that plus two. Sometimes I'll take, uh, I'll keep stuff that's less powerful if it grants me, you know, I'm not even using... Uh, Shadow Meld, I believe, so... Uh, nah, I'll keep that. Sometimes I'll keep stuff that is technically weaker uh, in favor of some stronger stuff uh, just because it, it works better with what I'm trying to do. Um, incredible Acrobatics. So, like, right now, I'd love to use this to get the extra 18 power, but I feel like the plus two to my current rank of Blink Strike is a little bit better for me because I'm definitely using that. Um, so if I can only get that plus two onto this, that would be awesome. But uh, there we go. So I wanted to show you guys some more Nightcrawler now that I had a little bit more time to play with him. Um, I'm, like I said, cruising right along. If we look at my roster, uh, you're going to see that right now Nightcrawler is... My second highest ranked character, you know, Deadpool obviously number one with, as a level 42. Uh, Gambit's up there as a level 10. Ghost Rider's an 11. Iron Man's a 10. And Nightcrawler's a 19. So I'm really enjoying him. Uh, you know, Thor is one of my favorite characters, you know, top five favorite characters in all of comic books. And I only have him as a level 13, so... Um, let's go ahead and just travel before I end the video. I'm going to go ahead and go to Xavier's school just because I feel like, you know, it's, it's Nightcrawler going home. Um, and if you haven't seen this before, you really should. So this is Xavier's school for the gifted. And we're going to go ahead and seek out Professor X, uh, but not before saying hi to Psylocke and looking at her gorgeous outfit. Hello. Uh, Psylocke is going to be a playable character soon. Uh, she is going to be... She's part of the advance pack. So you'll be able to play as her uh, by the end of the year. Uh, this is Magic. There she is. Uh, that is Colossus's sister. And she's kind of a bitch, not going to lie. Um, if you've read the uh, Avengers vs. X-Men story, you'll totally understand why. Uh, here we have North Star. Hello, North Star. Try not to waste my time. And why am I bothering you? Because I can. Uh, let's see who else we got. Love walking around and seeing some NPCs. And that is it. We can go down here. Just a random dude selling shit. Hawking his wares. Go over here and we have Clea. And hey, it's Rogue. Rogue will also be a playable Hello. character at some point. Um, I don't know if it's this year or next year. I don't think... I think it's actually next year that Rogue is a playable character. So she'll be in whatever they call the advanced pack. See, there we go. Right through the wall. 
Didn't have to worry about finding how you get out of there. Uh, over here, we have Domino selling some fortune cards. We're going to go ahead and buy one, because why not? Because it's Domino hanging out with Deadpool. What else is new? And I got junk. And this is nice and everything, but uh, not really what I need. Uh, I was hoping... At some point, I'm going to get something that's kind of rare. Uh, up here, we have... Uh, nothing. Over here, we have Morph. Who is a gear vendor? Clean up on aisle you. So there we go. Down here, we have Forge. He is your crafter. I might as well talk to him. Before I do that, let me put all this stuff down here. Uh, the Kingpin Medal. Uh, I get that. I'm not going to keep it. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of all this real quick. Uh, 24 more cube shards. And I can buy something. Uh, I always donate to rank them up. I don't really craft much, but I feel like I might as well craft, uh, level up my crafting. Uh, I feel like there should be some other characters around here. Alright, I guess we'll talk to Professor X real quick. So there is Professor X. We're in Cerebro. And I don't want to watch that. As long as I breathe on this earth, they will not be able to get away with such actions. They will not be able to get away with such actions. And over here we have Multiple Man. So that's where he is. Uh, he is the Eternity Splinter vendor. Ultimate power upgrade. I don't know what I'm going to spend this on. Um, you know, for 200 I can get Black Widow. I can get Cable, Captain America. No, I actually just Black Widow. I already have Daredevil. I can get Hawkeye. I don't have Hawkeye. I would like Hawkeye. Um, I wish I could get Rocket Raccoon. With 200. I can't imagine how much other people grind. Because 200 seems like a lot to me. But, uh. No. Uh, there we go. Portal to Bovenheim. Just gonna use Portal on you and your Alright, so that's Adam Warlock. Um. I think there's an exclamation mark over here. Oh, here we go, Rogue. Alright, so... It's going to tell me to go talk to people, and I guess I'll do that. But, in any event, I wanted to show you some more of Nightcrawler. Um, like I said, definitely a character that I am enjoying immensely. And I really feel like he is a character that's worth your money. Um, if you are a X-Men fan, if you are a Nightcrawler fan, if you are playing Marvel Heroes and you just want somebody new to play with, aw, oh, Squirrel ain't that cute. Uh, Nightcrawler is definitely worth your attention. Uh, this game is free to play, so if you really want to, you can play it for free, and you can play it with a number of different characters that you get for free. You can grind and grind and pick up those Eternity Splinters, um... And then eventually buy another character. Right now for 200 really I can buy uh, Hawkeye or I can buy Black Widow and that's about it. And um, you know, that's okay. But uh, I really definitely encourage you to maybe spend a little bit of money on the game. Even if you just spend 20 bucks on it. You can buy Nightcrawler and you can buy another character. And you can get your free characters. So you'll end up with three characters that way. And the first time you beat Green Goblin, I think you get a fourth, uh, a next, a second character, a uh, free character anyway. So, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, you know, you're able to uh, get lots of free stuff. Um, 
I, I, I just love the game, though. So, you know, if you're going to play the game and you're going to play it for free, I mean, what's a $20 investment for most people? Not much at all. Uh, for a game that you can play this much and have this much fun, uh, definitely worthwhile. So, uh, Nightcrawler is available now. I don't know if I'm going to make another video, but uh, I just wanted to talk about him some more and show him off a little bit more now that I've gotten a little bit used to him. And, uh, you know, hey... Let's talk about Nightcrawler in this video. Um, what's going on with him? Uh, how is he back from the dead, if you will? Um, because he was dead, supposedly, or at least in hell with Mephisto. Um, you know, let's talk about it. Uh, what What do you guys think of Nightcrawler? Um, I know a lot of you guys want him in Lego Marvel I superheroes, but uh, I don't see that happening. Um, other than that... Uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you want to play Marvel Heroes with me, uh, Jay Shockblast, leave your screen name in the comments below. I can add you as a friend. Um, I have a super group for Shockblast Media. It is just me and OSC so far. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I hope everybody enjoyed, and we will catch you later. See ya!